Built to Conveyance Project launch shaft sites are the largest land footprints of the project, given the acreage it takes to place tunnel boring machines into the ground, support tunneling operations, and store the reusable tunnel material, RTM, excavated from the tunnel. The Delta Conveyance Design and Construction Authority, DCA, working at the direction of the Department of Water Resources, DWR, has identified a way to construct 45 miles of tunnel with only two launch sites, each including two launch shafts that are strategically located to minimize impacts. Where will the launch shafts be located? There will be two launch shafts and the tunnel boring machines will launch in both directions from the shafts. At the 586 acre Twin Cities complex, one tunnel will launch northward to the two intakes on the Sacramento River and another southward to meet up with the tunnel driven northward from Lower Roberts Island. Locating the launch site adjacent to Interstate 5 helps to consolidate traffic on major roadways and avoid rural routes. The launch site is close enough to the intakes to avoid launch shafts near the river or the Stone Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. At Lower Roberts Island, one tunnel will launch northward from the 610-acre site and another southward to a site near Bethany Reservoir. The Delta Conveyance Project plans for tunnel machines to bore as long as 15 miles in order to reduce the number of launch sites. Located near the port of Stockton, new rail infrastructure can connect the port directly to the Lower Roberts Island launch site, reducing traffic. What criteria was used to select launch shaft sites? DCA, under the direction of DWR, examined potential shaft sites throughout the Delta and also received input from its Stakeholder Engagement Committee. The process identified the two sites based on comparisons using the same criteria. The criteria included construction considerations, which includes factors such as proximity to and quality of existing roads, rail, and barge routes, condition of existing levees, and proximity to existing high voltage power. Additional siting criteria were geotechnical considerations, such as geologic units and thickness of peat or organics. Also, DCA considered property and land use in siting the launch shafts, including number of landowners, future development, farmland designations, conservation land, refuges, preserves, and critical vernal pool habitat. Further siting criteria considered existing infrastructure, like the presence of structures such as houses, barns, schools, etc., and also power lines, gas pipelines, aqueducts, water supply wells, gas wells, and oil production fields. How would the reusable tunnel material, RTM, be managed? At both the Lower Roberts and Twin City sites, the RTM excavated by the tunnel boring machines would be planned for storage on site. The total long-term footprints for both sites will be less than half that during construction. Other future off-site uses for RTM are possible, and the stored material would be available to help satisfy the demand for usable fill material in the area. The RTM will be managed in phases, including testing, drying, and storage. Testing. Excavated material would be tested based on state regulations for the presence of hazardous materials. Any RTM identified as hazardous would be transported by truck to licensed disposal sites. At these depths, DCA doesn't expect to encounter hazardous materials. Drying. RTM would be high in moisture and non-hazardous material would be conveyed via conveyor belt to a storage area for drying. This process is not anticipated to create odors. And storage. Dried RTM will be stored in stockpiles 15 feet high, 189 acres on Lower Roberts Island and 214 acres at the Twin Cities Complex. Will the project include other types of shafts as well? Launch shafts begin the tunneling process, but other shafts with footprints of approximately a dozen acres are planned to both maintain the boring machines and remove them when tunneling is completed. The project includes three shafts for receiving and removing the boring machines, plus six maintenance shafts, for a total of 13 shafts, including the four launch shafts. For more information, 
Follow us on social media and visit the website at dcdca.org.